Well, Leo, I couldn't, I gotta say, I couldn't be more happy for you because astrologically, this is an extraordinary week. I mean, it's probably one of the luckiest weeks of the year for you. In fact, this portion of the year is gonna feel like it's not even part of the year. It's so gosh darn good. Let's get into it. Leo, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Please let it resonate wherever it resonates in your life. This is an energy reading. I'm going to describe the energies. If I describe them using some metaphor that sounds romantic but it applies to your career, apply it to where it resonates for you. This is your reading. There's always an extended reading that I hope you guys will join me for because we get deep into the nitty gritty and that is down below the link to that video is down below I also t uh, attach it to the top of the comment section so it's easy for you guys to find and I have an announcement so wait to the end of the video because there's some special news that I want to inform you guys of we're going to start with the current situation unhashing it the cards that come out in the past um, we'll have to do with what's going on now and then we'll project into the future including the extended okay <laughs> I'm gonna go over I'm gonna go over the astrology throughout the video we're gonna start off a little bit um, the Sun is going to be sextile to Pluto and you're going to really feel a huge breakthrough in your life in, in terms of luck and fortune and, and just absolute eruption of everything that you're capable of and a disruption of anything that ever stood in your way. Um, Pluto is sextile to the sun on Sunday and Jupiter goes trying to the sun on Sunday. And you are just surrounded by a lot of benefic energy from venus and mercury and you are slowly coming up from the underworld so by the end of the week we are still in scorpio season but we're about to head into sagittarius and two planets that you are closely conjuncted to move into sagittarius so it's almost like you are being pulled along ain't it good to have friends this is a very people around you you're feeling really good you're feeling really happy and i gotta say there's just so much romance in the air and when I mean romance I mean idealistic something that is because that's really what romance is it's I an idealism it's a idealistic view of the world it's wearing rose colored glasses that's what the romantic era was all about it wasn't just about falling in love and stuff like that it was about idyllic optimism and it feels like that it just the the world la vie en rose la vie en rose this week when those all those planets come into alignment definitely by i mean i think you're starting to feel the release already but definitely by um sunday and then monday it just it just gets more and more beautiful toward that end of the week where you're about to rise out of scorpio into sagittarius where you really feel really good about yourself so let's get into the cards let me show you the cards a little bit word i'm still here yo i'm still her dream the world in so you've always wanted this this is something that you have dreamed about and imagined for god knows how long you probably worked very hard if you can see there's a skull behind it and so the dream of this or the struggle for this has caused you a lot of suffering or a lot of pain or you're feeling a lot of suffering and you felt a lot you've experienced a lot and maybe even near-death experiences things that hurt you to the point that maybe you wanted to hurt yourself or it just there was a great deal of suffering but now you're at a point where all of that is most definitely in the past and it's fertilizer for a new beginning a new start and a lighter beautiful world so you are coming on the um on the other side of the heartache and the hardship and love is all around you this is gemini energy this could be a gemini or this is just a sense of really feeling in a lovey-dovey mood it reiterates that romantic feeling that romantic vibe that's in the air around you but it's also a lot of people really showing love and appreciation and and having such overwhelming sense of power and self-assertion you are just living it out loud and this is Gemini energy so the communications are going to be really exceptional right now that you have lots of compliments very successful um, um, very successful conversations and and verbal interactions 
news and also good news good news the past is behind you and all that pain and suffering you'll never have to go through it again this is your current situation there's still something in the past sitting here so let's get to it see the big picture so it's it's like the world just got bigger for you and ultimately you you're not caught in some little box anymore you're you're seeing the with a wide lens and more from an aerial point of view you also it, say, say for example this was a financial situation it's like all the hardship almost been broke maybe you were homeless and then all of a sudden this this love comes in a, a, a bunch of abundance lots of good news and there's a sense of see the big picture as in you know you you're not living week to week anymore you feel comfortable up to a couple years out you can see yourself doing things or you can make plans out into the future because you have that kind of abundance and this is what it is it's almost like making plans out into the future i can see myself moving forward out into the future in this way i finally feel safe enough to be able to to be comfortable enough with not necessarily making plans but once again engaging in those possibilities and and looking and looking outward and forward it's like your world just got bigger and then we have bring a gentle touch this is love man and cancer got <laughs> crazy love too so i don't know who this person is but it's it's new it's sweet there's a tenderness to you and you don't mind it there's a strength enough to you right now that you just you don't mind it you feel really grounded this is taurus and virgo energy i don't know if you're dealing with either one of those signs but there's a beautiful sense of this is real this is solid i can plan my future on this this could be your career this could be a, a relationship but it's like now i see the possibility i see the potential for the future be at home so this is definitely hitting home dealing with family relationships it means that you're going to be close to home or stay close to home or you have a feeling of i'm finally home i'm finally home i'm comfortable i trust the space this is cancerian energy it's love it's it's nurturing it's motherhood it's maternal it's it's just feeling you found your home that's what i want to say and clear out the clutter this is shedding this is also cancerian energy maybe you're dealing with a cancerian i think that there was a lot of maybe this is somebody from your hometown i don't know or from your family but it's almost like there's a lot you had to get off your chest with a specific person and that has happened and it's good stuff it's 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 a great conversation it's 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 finally finding that love and that connection maybe it's picking up the phone and making the phone call or finally getting the balls to be able to talk to somebody or have that long postponed conversation it just seems like the past is dead whatever was unforgiven or misunderstood it, it'll it all comes out but it all comes out in a way that Is perfect timing and it just feels so good now let's turn over this card Sagittarius energy think on your feet that's interesting because Sagittarius is in the future we're going towards Sagittarius season but I think that this is like I think this is a misunderstood situation I don't think you ever really really understood the situation Maybe you felt like somebody outfoxed you or that somebody manipulated, not manipulated. It's almost like, think on your feet. Let's see. Okay. Basically, I pulled some more cards. You got the three of swords. You got the page of cups and you got the star card all to describe or clarify fox spirit what this tells me is that even though you were heartbroken and even though part of you was just really wrecked with pain and sorrow and suffering or these bad experiences 
you took a leap of faith and you trusted somebody's love or you allowed love into your life. This was a total curveball. This was unexpected. I don't think that you were planning it because there's disappointment here. So there was an unexpected person that came into your life that was very different from the normal type of person that maybe you would have you would have connected with. But this connection was the catalyst to your healing a broken heart or a situation where there was maybe stress or pain that you just that was distracting you which is why you weren't really focused on this this new person you weren't looking for anything it just kind of happened and then now there's clarity here that or a sense of settling into this circumstance or this situation where you can finally enjoy it. You can finally see, okay, this is going to last. This is going to be long term. I can see a future with this. Or there's just this sense of hope and love that's coming back into your life and that you feel comfortable with. You're almost at home now with this new per if this is a person this is a new could be a child could be a baby that kind of just was unexpected but it, it sort of surprised you but 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 it's just changed everything about your life it could be anybody anybody you leave the comments below let me know who is this new energy that's come into your life because now in the current situation you have this peace you have this sense of now I feel I got my confidence back. I feel confident enough to move forward or know that there is a future with this situation and I can, I'll can i start making plans for the future. I'm going to start making plans for the 4th of July. I'm going to start making plans for next Easter. I'm going to start because, because you know that it's not floating away or going away. There's a sense of forever in your connection. And there was such hope heartbreak that I, I think in some ways you expected it to go the opposite direction. You expected it to be completely over and ruined and destroyed. I will tell you the secret. The reason why that's not the way it went is because you decided that it, you weren't going to give up. And it wasn't about being in denial or being delusional. It was about just no matter how dark it is, no matter how the storm is hitting me, I am going to shine again. And there was something here that was so deep. And I think that that sextile of Pluto really speaks for itself. It was so deep. It was so primal. It was so knowing. It could be from a past life. Just like this knowledge from the past life that says, please don't give up. You've given up on this before. But this time around, do not give up. Because you know that there's good just on the other side of these clouds. And you just didn't. You just didn't. And now you're ready to clear out space and make room. This could be a new baby. This could be or a new life or a new relationship of some kind that honestly you want to incorporate into your whole world. Uh, can we get us some more details up in here? Nine of Pentacles. So there's abundance. There's, there's maybe literally money that was owed to you or people appreciating you. And this would have been some people who had left you behind in the past. People who abandoned you or feeling abandoned and wanting to stay single because you were afraid to move forward. That could also be as well. Ah, but now you have the opportunity. It's like, it's like people are making it up to you. It's like the universe is making it up to you. Now you feel like you have enough and you have enough abundance or you are qualified now to do something that you kind of felt like you were ex disqualified from or uh, left out of. Um, you, you don't have to be left out of it anymore. There's opportunities coming. It finally comes around to you. I want to get a moon card. I mean, these opportunities are tangible. And I told you, there's that Taurus energy. There's that Virgo energy. So this isn't hypothetical. It's not just emotional. There's more Taurus energy here. It says prosperity lies ahead. There is money here. There's a huge sort of handout or somebody, somebody giving you something that they've always wanted to give you or provide for you. Yes, it could be opportunity as well, but you've got Ace of... You've got Ace of Pentacles here. Just, this just tells me it's tangible. Or people are finally acknowledging your value. Like you're, you're the sun is finally out again. And 
it's like you feel like yourself again but prosperity lies ahead is here which means there is a strong implication that this is got to do with money finances maybe feeling your sensuality back enjoying yourself not uh, not letting yourself hold back you don't have to worry about the fun, mo money or the funds but taurus is also very much a home of the moon and we just went through um we just went through oh stop we just went through a Taurus full moon, but it's the Taurus new moon that happened earlier this year that's more important. What were your manifestations? What were they? Because it's with this retrograde of Mars, with this energy that's pulling us back, there is abundance that wanted to come to us for quite some time and it has been on the way. So I want you to take yourself back to that date. What were you manifesting? What was beginning? What was starting? Because now it is full, robust, and absolutely has been birthed or born into this world. This started probably about six months ago. There's more abundance here. There's more abundance that you can now look forward to throughout the next six months. And I think this is what it is. It's almost like something is starting off. You're planning something or you're casting out for the next six months to the next Taurus full moon, which is to the next Taurus new moon, which is six months from now. Real abundance, this newness, this freshness. What's coming into the world? Once again, for some of you, that's gonna be when your baby is born. Not all of you, and whatever that baby is, remember, baby could be your business, baby could be your project, baby could, baby could be your career, but that's when it's coming out next May. We got some future here. I want to see what it is, and I know you do too. Hold on, hold on. Five of Wands, this is very competitive. You could spec, uh, suspect competition will hold you up, or there was a strife, there was arguments or a lot of fights that were keeping you stuck, and almost in some way it was this competition that made you, that this, this challenge, all these challenges that made you grow. Could have been haters, could have been naysayers, could have been people betting against you. But guess what? It don't fucking matter because Ten of Pentacles is here. Once again, there is wealth. You got some competition and challenges that might stall for the next five months, but that's also what the other cards say, that there is just this... Um, yeah, these are the, the other cards imply that it could be up to six months out. But think about what you were manifesting six months ago or what you were engaged in or what newness was coming into your life. Um, I don't think everybody's necessarily going to be happy for you. And there are haters that are trying to like slow you down, right? I don't know. I don't know what this what this is. But what I care about is Ten of Pentacles. You're making a lot of fucking money and a lot of fucking wealth and abundance through people that think they got you, people that think they stopped you. They didn't. Wow. What? Who are these people? Clarify. What is this five of wands? It could have been cattiness and fighting that was what was making you stuck and now you're just combining your energies you're saying yeah let's let, let's work as a team it could have also been you were waiting this because this sometimes can represent a house you could have been wanting to buy a house thinking of buying a house looking to buy a house and all the conflicts between you and actually buying a house that you you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't you it made you stuck they're gone. You will have the money. You have the money to purchase this home now. There's prosperity and abundance. It's coming to you. It's got to do with something regarding a house. And look at all this. This is it's like money owed to you somehow. What is this? Let me know, dude. And maybe you're selling your house. But you couldn't do it yet. Next May. It says, don't give up. Somebody needs to hear that. You have this wonderful new life. You have this wonderful new feeling. <laughs> that doesn't mean conflict is, is going to be totally eradicated. But what the universe is saying is, this is a completely clean slate. Do not give up. Do not give up fighting for this house you want to buy or fighting for this opportunity or whatever you're trying to build. Because honestly, 
Everything you want is on the other side of this gray cloud. Everything you want is on this other, the other side of this gray cloud. Then the lovers are here and you're going to have a partner to do it with you. Whether you ask for it or not, you're finally going to meet them. You're finally going to meet them. If you're single, you're finally going to meet them or you're finally going to talk to them or come out and be able to say it or see them or, or just be public, maybe even be public about a relationship. This could also be making an announcement about your love affair, how much you care about somebody or about a partnership you just entered into. But this is this is undeniable. Somebody, you're just people like you're just so attracted, or people are so attracted to you, or, or just victory and success. The six of wands is also a homecoming card, and you have that home energy, and all it's doing is saying to me like, you get the house, you will buy the house, you will have a new place to live, you will make this work. This, and it's through this partnership. It's by not doing it alone and by being so solid and this person being with you. Who is this person? I want this person described. We're gonna go into details, dude. Let's get to the extended. But first, for the announcement. I am so happy and grateful that we have reached over 100,000 subscribers now and even Astrology Motivation, which is my second YouTube channel, for those of you who didn't know I had one, that's where I do my daily tarot card reading live chat so you can join me any day, Monday through Friday. So come subscribe over there too. And that's growing too and we're growing so fast and it's just so much abundance that you've bought into my life. I want to invite you to my first ever meet and greet. It's not just gonna be an ordinary meet and greet though, it's gonna be a celebration of this of reaching this successful milestone of 100,000 um, subscribers. So, um, the meeting the meet and greet is going to be in austin texas usa it is going to be in march of 2023 so don't worry about having to miss it because of holiday plan forget about it nah dude i get it so march 2023 around the spring equinox i am going to hold a meet and greet that is going to include a full hour and a half cleansing sound bath meditation so that we can all heal together and then we can all know each other and speak to each other and meet each other eat good food drink good drink and just um and just have a really wonderful time it's going to be between two and a half and three hours total for those of you who want to come in let me know and this is what the announcement is i am going to create a poll please look for it at the end of this week friday saturday look for it i'm going to create a poll i want to get a ballpark number of who is going to be interested there's one of two ways you can there's two different ways that you can participate. One, actually be there. Be there live if you can get to the Austin area. Or two, virtually. I'm going to open up a virtual experience so that you can you can come from any place on the globe and still participate and experience that beautiful meditation sound bath and ask questions when I open up the live chat. So please, please, please look for that poll and tell me. If you're not interested, okay. But, oh yeah, I'd show up live. Absolutely, I'd go to that. <laughs> or um, I would definitely join the, the uh, virtual. Uh, let me know. I'll have that poll up. And as for now, I welcome you guys to the extended. Let's go. The link is below.